What's going on guys? This is DJ with All Day DFS and I hope y'all guys had a great weekend. I hope y'all guys cashed in. Let me know down below how I went for y'all guys. Let me know if y'all cashed in. Let me know who brought it home for y'all. Let me know if you had a bum of the night or a bum of a bum of the weekend. <laughs> Let me know how I went for y'all guys. I hope y'all guys cashed in. I hope y'all guys got that money, made that bank, build that bank grow up. Guys, the weekends for me are not good. I work. Um, I'm a DJ, so I work basically you know i work all night uh you know i work all night and i'll sleep half of the day so by the time i i get going i don't really have enough time to do anything um and, and most of the time i have my kids on the weekends so when you add all that up i really don't have time for the weekend so i'm sorry that i can't make videos on the weekends i had a couple people asking me for videos i had a couple people asking me for my picks i did post a, a couple picks if you follow me on twitter um but for the most part i really don't do too much because if i can't do the research I'm not going to give y'all guys, you know, I don't want to give y'all guys like half-assed or, you know, oh, I think this guy's going to do it or I think, you know, I want to I want to give you something and I want to try to back it up with the research and tell you why I'm doing it. So, um, you know, I'm sorry about the weekends, but let me know. Again, let me know down below how it goes. Guys, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Um, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted when I make these videos. Also, join the Discord. We got a real active Discord going on. Um, really, really great community. Everybody's in there help, helping and sharing picks and, and is active in there, not only in basketball, but NFL, eSports, different uh, baseball. Uh, we have all kinds of stuff going on in there. So go, don't, don't forget to hit the, the link and join. Um, also, follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. You can reach me. That's where you could probably reach me on the weekends if you're looking for some help on the weekends. Um, so anyways, today I'm making this video and I'm making it kind of early. What well, is early? Because I've been getting a lot of requests to make the videos earlier, so try to jump on the early, um, the early picks, you know. Because as we know, price picks moves the lines throughout the day, so a lot of people have been telling me see, see if I can make it earlier. I'm not gonna be able to do it every day, but today I could do it early. And as you know, when you do stuff early, price picks only only has so much on the board. So my picks today is based on what's on the board. There's a lot of games and a lot of players that are not on the board yet, so I don't have that information. Somebody might come out later today with a, you know. A crazy prop or you know a low fantasy score or whatever and it could be the lock you know but we uh at this point i can only go by what's on the board so i don't have you know i don't i think i have like about four to five picks for y'all guys but um i hope they can share and i hope they make you know help y'all bank and build that bankroll remember guys my picks are to help um you know go ahead and do do the research yourself look at my picks you know, look at what you have, what you're liking. If it's something that you can add to your line, if you're looking for that, for that, you know, that five times, I mean, that five pick flex that gives you 10 times your money and you need a couple picks to throw in there, you could use this. Um, or if you're looking for that, another player to add to your two, to your two pick uh, power, whatever it might be, you know, just, you know, this is what I like. And um, I'm hoping that it, it can help, you know, it can help us make money. So let's get into it. So the first player I have on the board, and I really, really like this play, and I think if y'all guys like it as well, y'all guys should jump on it quick because I see this moving. I don't even know why it's at 14 and a half. I like John Collins for 14 and a half points. Um, the line is 15 and a half, so right now he's a he's a point below the line um, at 14 and a half versus Washington. I just I just feel that's too low. Like I feel like he's gonna at least get a 16. I really do. I, probably more. I see him having a big game. Um, Obviously, again, we can't predict blowouts. We can't predict foul trouble. But I can see us, I, even if he only plays three quarters, I can see him getting at least 16 points in three quarters. He's been playing good this year. Um, I really, 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 as soon as I seen this, I jumped on it. I already made a line with him on it. And I like the 14 and a half points. Um, he's hitting at a 60% hit rate, which is like, I usually try to find at least 70 or, or above. But 60 is still not bad, and um, I like the matchup more. More I like the matchup more than the hit rate. Obviously, the the matchup they're 19th overall on defense, but they're 30th in points allowed, 28th in field goal allowed, and 21 versus power forwards. So very, very, very good matchup versus Washington. And then last year, in four games last year, he averaged 22.8. He averaged basically 23 points a game versus Washington last year. So I definitely, definitely like him for the over on 14 and a half points. Give me John Collins over on 14 and a half points. Next I have, again, guys, it's kind of slim pickings what's on the board right now. But 
I'm going to give you what I like, like I said. So next I got OG over two and a half assists. Um, he's hit this uh, He's hit this four out of his last five for an 80% hit rate. And basically the first game of the season, he didn't have any assists. But since the first game, he's been averaging about four assists a game since then. So I definitely like him. New York is a is a tough matchup, a tough matchup so it could be risky. The New York's a pretty good defensive team. So it could be risky. You might not like this this play, this prop. Um, but I like him for the over. I think he could get us three. Like I said, he's been averaging four a game, his last four games. So I think he can get us at least three. Um, if you don't like the assist prop, another one to look at is, uh, so this is more like a two picks in one, is a three-pointers made. Um, let me see here. He has hit two or more in all games this year. So you take out a tie, and he's at 100% hit rate. So out of five games, he has one tie, and the rest he's gone over two. So that's about, if you drop the tie, that's 100% hit rate. Again, the matchup is not, you know, it's not a great matchup, but, I mean, he's been playing well. Um, so I like him for either over two and a half assists or over two three-pointers made. Do your research, guys. Pick one of them, or if not, you can run it in different lines. Um Pick, pick which one you like best. I, I, I think he's good for either one. I'll probably run a line with each one. I'm liking I'm liking the hit rate on both the assists and the three-pointers. Again, he's averaging four game, four assists a game, um, and he's hit two or more threes every game this year. So at the very least, you can you can expect a tie, I would say. Let's see if let me pop this up here for y'all guys. So there you go. Only he he only had uh the only time he hit two was against uh how they have it? It says his opponent is Toronto, so I guess they played themselves. <laughs> I don't know who it was against. It says Toronto, but obviously he plays on Toronto. But anyways, as you can see there, there's the numbers to back it up. Very, very good. Five, four, four, three, and the tie. So I definitely like OG over three, uh, over two three pointers. Next on the board. So next on the board. So that was two and one. Um, and, and guys, look at um, when I was doing this, the fantasy score wasn't out. It just came out. John Collins might be good, and they don't even have him on here. So, yeah, again, it's real early. Price Picks doesn't have a lot of stuff on the board. But John Collins on the overall fantasy score could be another one to look at. I think that would – I think he's projected to go over. I think they'll probably put him around 33. And I'm thinking he's going to get at least 35 to 36. Again, we can't predict blowouts. We can't predict foul trouble. But as long as, as those two are pretty good, I think he'll be there. So next, like next, next pick I like on the board is um, Kimball Walker over two and a half threes. So he has gone over four out of five games this season. Of course, eighty percent hit rate. We love eighty percent hit rates. Um, the one game he missed, he had two, so he was almost there. Um, and and a, and a thing, big big thing about him, like in his first three games, he wasn't getting the minutes. You know, so he was good for the under, like on total fantasy score and all that stuff. But even though he was only getting 19, 20, 25 minutes, um, I think 25, 22, something like that, he's still hitting his threes. Again, he's he's gone over f this four out of five games. So even if his minutes are, are light, um, which I don't see his, his minutes have been picking up, his minutes, I think he's been getting like 25 to 30 minutes his last couple games, which is enough time for him to hit the threes. He's um, He usually gets his threes, no matter what the minutes are. Again, he's only gone under one time out of five games. He's only hit. Uh, he's only gone under one, so we got the 80% hit rate. And not only that, but the matchup is really good. Toronto is 26 in three pointers allowed this season. So when you add all that up, I really like this pick for Kimball Walker over two and a half threes. Again, it's Kimball Walker. I know some people might not. It could be risky to some people. But here we go. I, I keep forgetting to do this, guys. I love this new new thing that shows us stuff here. Price picks. Keep on making it easier so we don't have to go to other sites for all this information. Let us stay here and spend our money. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, he's gone over two and a half, four out of five games. He hit five against Chicago. And again, they have him against New York here. He hit five against his, his own team again. <laughs> I don't know what that's about. Price Fix needs to work on that. But um, as you can see here, he's gone over four out of five uh, games. And the one that he went under, he was at two, so he was almost there. And he's shooting, I think he shoots at least seven threes a game or something like that. But anyways, I like it. Uh, give me Kimba Walker over two and a half threes. And the last pick that I have for y'all guys, again, it was slim slim pickings today. Don't have much. It's Bradley Beal. And guys, I don't know from now on, I'm not, 
I might not do four to five picks. I might just do two. If I like two really good and the rest don't look good, I'll come with you. I'm always going to at least give you two to do a two-pick power. I see a lot of the, the fantasy sites and a lot of people on Twitter. They'll give you their two-pick power, the, you know, two power of, the, of the day. Um, so I might start doing that. I might, you know, it depends on if I can find with, with, with the time that I have, I'll, I'll do as many picks as I can, but I'm going to try to lose at least do two today. I gave you four. If you count the two, two and one with OG, you know, either the assist or the three pointers, that will be five. Um, but anyways, my last pick of the day is Bradley Beal. Now this one is not based on hit rate. This one's not based on numbers. This one's just the good old gut. I, I seen this on the board. And I really think he can hit over one and a half threes. I really do. Um, he's averaging. Okay, he was the one that was averaging averaging seven three attempts. He's averaging averaging seven threes. Uh, he takes seven threes a game. And his uh, let me see. So he hit three last game versus Boston, and all we need is two here. All we need is two here from him. Again, guys, not 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 nothing of not based on numbers, not based on matchup, not based on anything. I just like this play. I just feel like he's gonna hit at least two three pointers. I he's a good three point shooter. We know that um, he had some injury issues early in the season. I think he's coming back into shape, coming back into form. So I like him for the over on one and a half threes. Again, he made three his last game. He's shooting at least seven a game. So I think if he shoots seven a game, I think he can at least make two. I mean, y'all guys. I mean, what do y'all guys think? If y'all guys like it, if y'all like it and I like it, you know what I always say: it's a lock. Even though there's no such thing as a lock, but I really feel like he can get us two versus Atlanta. Um. So that's all I have for y'all guys today. Again, like I said, the the board there wasn't much on the board. Fantasy score just came out. Um, if I see anything else I like, I'll uh, I'll put it out on Twitter. So make sure y'all guys go ahead and follow me on Twitter. Remember the, the link to the Discord is down below. Follow, um, go ahead and join our Discord. Go in there. It's a Price Picks community. Everything Price Picks. So if you're looking for a place to hang out and talk Price Picks and share knowledge and share picks and all that good stuff, go in there and follow us. Again, guys, please, please, please don't forget to subscribe. Um, again, I'm trying to get my goal to, to get to a thousand subscribers soon. Um, so I appreciate y'all if y'all subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Um, and I'm, guys, I've gotten a lot of requests for um, some some like strategy on on second half and fourth quarter picks, or even first half, first half, second half, fourth quarter. And I'm thinking about making a video on that, let you know my strategies. I, I did very very well last year, made a lot of money off um, you know second second half and, and fourth quarter. Let me know if y'all guys are interested in making in, in me making a video on that. If y'all are, I'll make a video on that and share what I do. Um, Right now, I'm, I'm, since we just got, I think about every team has played at least five games. So now we're getting the information, we're getting the stats, we're getting everything that we need to start looking at. Now I can start really getting into the second half and fourth quarter because I can start looking at rotations. I can see the minutes. I can see who does what, who shoots, who shoots more, who scores more. Because for second half or fourth quarter, they give you points or fantasy score. So I'm definitely going to be hitting them hard now, now that I got the information that I need. When, it's, when you don't have that much information to go by, you don't know the rotations, you don't know none of that stuff. So, um, sorry guys, let me, you don't know any of that stuff. So, now that I at least have five games, I'm going to go ahead and give y'all, um, you know, I can do that video for y'all if y'all want to learn about that. And I'm going to go ahead and hit price picks hard with it because I'm ready. Also, I, I uh, make shout out to everybody that, that, that hit me up about the, the little advice on the five pick flex. Remember guys, again, I, if, if y'all didn't see that video, Remember, guys, I, like I said, I see a lot of guys in the Discord that, that are on some losing streaks or whatever, and they're, or not even that. Sometimes they're not on losing streaks. They're just always chasing that 10 times. Remember, guys, if you look at the people that win big in this, look at their screen, look at their screenshots from their winnings. Like I said, to me, it's a, from what I see from the people that I follow, it's at least about 80% of the, of the time, there are two pick powers. Two pick powers. That's all it is. It's not a four. It's not a three. It's not a four. It's not a five. Remember, the more, the more uh, players you add to it, the more you have to get right. <laughs> <laughs> I know we all want to chase that 10, 10x. We want to throw 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars and win 30, you know, win 300, win 400, win 500, even throw 100 on it and win 1,000 back. It looks great. It's just really tough to get five right. And of course, if you flex it, the five pick flex, you still can get a double up if you hit four. But just think of it this way build up your bankroll. You know, you see a lot of these people winning big money, but they're only winning it on three times, three three x you know. So they'll throw a thousand, a thousand, a thousand dollars on a two, on a two uh, pick, 
uh, two pick power, and they win three thousand back. But all we see is the three thousand. We don't see that. You know, a lot of times, a lot of times we don't pay attention to it was only two players. So just think about that. Build your bankroll up, then throw some big money on two picks. If you want it, if you want that big money, build your bankroll up, throw the big money on the two pick powers, and then, and then you'll start seeing. And then you'll start seeing what you want. Then you'll start sharing those screenshots like everybody else. So again, good luck to y'all guys tonight. Let me know what y'all like below. Let me know if I missed something. Let me know if you see something throughout the day that you like that I that wasn't on the board yet. Um, again, I hope y'all guys have a great night. I hope y'all guys cash in. I'll check back in with y'all tomorrow.